Hey everybody, it's Haley, and today we're gonna make the first dessert of this fall season. You can see I have my fall decorations up in the background. <sighs> to be honest, it's still kind of hot here in Texas. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like fall quite yet, but the first day of fall is technically September 23rd, so figured it's time for some pumpkin recipes. Today we're gonna make some pumpkin hand pies but they're also kind of like pumpkin pop tarts if you want to make those. They're gonna be super delicious and there's a third version of this dessert which is called pumpkin pasties or pumpkin pasties that are in the Harry Potter book movie series, you know what I mean? So we're kind of making like three desserts in one which is why I have my Harry Potter shirt on today made by one of my aunts, thank you so much. It says the wand chooses the wizard and it's a whisk for baking. Wink, okay. Let's get started. Right, so this is gonna be super quick and easy. First, I've got a bowl here and we're gonna put in one cup of pumpkin puree. This is not pumpkin pie mix. Don't get that mixed up because that has stuff added into it. We just want the real pumpkin. Pumpkin by itself just smells like baby food. <laughs> then add one egg, quarter cup of packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of milk, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And if you want a substitute for the pumpkin pie spice, I will put in the description box how to make your own. Gonna get a whisk and, oh, oh look, whisk on my shirt. Whisk it all together. That's all done. This smells so good. Okay, to the side. I'm gonna pull out my mat here, which I cut a hole in. Right, right there. I kinda need a new one. Oh well. And I've got some pie crust here. This is just pre-made pie crust from the store. You can totally make your own. I actually have a video for a really great flaky pie crust. You can click on that right up here or is it up here? Before I roll this out, I'm gonna get some flour, sprinkle it on the work surface. Right, so now I've got my pie crust here. It's rolled out to a pretty good thickness. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it. You want it to be pretty thin. I don't know why I'm doing British accent. You want it to be pretty thin because, like thinner than a normal pie crust, because we're making little hand pies. And so if you've got a really thick crust and then you're sandwiching it, it's just gonna be a lot of crust with no filling. This filling's gonna be super delicious, so you, you don't want that. All right, then you've got to cut out your pie crust. You can use a circle cookie cutter. You can cut it into rectangles. I am going to use this cute little pumpkin cookie cutter I have, and I'm just going to cut out lots of pumpkins. Ah, I love it. Okay, I didn't get too many out of this, so I'm definitely gonna try to reroll my scraps. I'll let you know how that goes, because usually when you reroll your scraps, it can get a little bit messy. I've got two of my pumpkins. One of them is gonna be the bottom, one is gonna be the top. And to the top one, you're going to want to either prick it, like stab it with a fork, or cut a couple slits in it. Stabby steps. Oh, don't do that. All right, so I'm placing half of my pumpkins onto this parchment lined baking sheet. And I say half because remember half are gonna be the tops. So I've got my pumpkins on the baking sheet and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this pumpkin mixture and place it down in the middle. I'm thinking this is gonna hold maybe half to one tablespoon. I'm hoping one tablespoon. I think one tablespoon should probably be good. And then around the edges of the pumpkin where you didn't put the filling, I'm gonna put some egg wash to help the other crust stick to the top of it. And this is just an egg beaten with a little bit of water. Then I'm gonna place my other pumpkin, the one with the holes or the slits on top of it. And I'm gonna gently press down around the edges and then we're gonna seal it with a fork. Oh my gosh, this looks too perfect. Ah, I it. Gonna finish doing the rest of these. All right, 
last thing you want to do is get the egg wash again and brush the tops of them with the egg wash. This makes them shiny and also get a nice golden brown color when they're in the oven. You can really tell when you like miss one spot with the egg wash and it's just pale. And at this point, if you want to, you can sprinkle some sugar on top. Um, but I am going to make a nice little glaze to put on top. And we're ready to bake these. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake these for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're nice, like crisp golden brown. Okay, the pumpkin pies are out of the oven. They look so delicious. And I'm gonna make a quick little glaze. I have half a cup of powdered sugar that I sifted. Then I'm adding in two tablespoons of heavy cream or you can just use milk. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna stir that all together. Right, and I'm just gonna glaze them. you put your glaze on you can do sprinkles if you want or you don't have to I've got these gold sprinkles that I think will look nice oh so pretty I've got to try one I can't wait any longer oh, it's a little pumpkin mmm mmm so good. The crust is nice and flaky, and then the pumpkin just has such a good pumpkin flavor. And then the icing adds a little bit of sweetness, and it's just all so perfect. And also, I would say that this is a super beginner-friendly dessert. Like, there's some dessert recipes, especially relating to pie, where it can be kind of hard. But this was super simple. Nothing was like trying to trip me up. That is one of the best things I've ever made. But well, anyways, thank you so much for baking with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. Happy fall, y'all! This thing is about to cut off my head. That's ah! oh. okay. okay. Oh my gosh, what was that? Uh-oh, technical difficulties. We had a, um, a little bit of a problem because the lights fell down, but I think I fixed them.